from the cannabis plant have been isolated 85 different cannabinoids. However, not all of them are present at high concentration in each strain. CBN is one of the most prevalent and best studied cannabinoid along with THC and CBD in the cannabis plant. Cannabinoid is the primary product of degradation of THC. A fresh plant tends to yield just a little of CBN. A cannabis sample, when it's exposed to air, heat, time and storage, it degrades and THC oxidizes into its byproduct, CBN. CBN binds with less activity than THC to the main cannabinoid receptors, CB1 and CB2, thus not resulting on psychoactive activities on its own, but can potentiate the sedative effects of THC when combined with it. CBN is an efficient antispasmodic and anti-inflammatory agent. It binds with more affinity to CB2 receptors over CB1. CB2 receptors are the cannabinoid receptors that are mostly present in the immune system. Since CBN activates as well receptors that are sensitive to high temperatures, such as TRPV2, it is possible the role in the management of burns and currently studies are undergoing to explore this therapeutic potential of CBN. CBN inhibits proliferation of the skin cells, also called as keratinocytes. Psoriasis is an inflammatory disorder characterized by hyperproliferation of epidermic keratinocytes. This disorder is still without an effective cure and it's very possible that CBN could contribute to the management of this disorder. CBN engages stem cells at marrow, promoting bone formation. This is not only important following fractures, but it can also prevent and contrast disorders such as osteoporosis. Some new evidences have been showing a role for CBN in the prevention from breast cancer. If you're interested in finding out other effects of costidivants from the cannabis plant, you can keep following our cannabis in molecules on Nature Going Smart here on YouTube or come and visit us on our website naturegoingsmart.com.